Hello friends and developers, welcome to your favorite channel IVMS. So this is your number one place to learn how to grow from being a beginner to becoming a pro web developer. So today we are going to do, we are proceeding from where we left. Look, at this is how, this is how we have done our challenge and as expected we are going to have something that looks like this one. So today we are going to proceed from where we left on building this one awesome B365 clone. So now, now there you can see that I've got this one now. So I'm just going to go inside our visual studio code editor of choice so i can see that I, you can see that i've minimized this one then this one is a blank section i also have got so if i just do a click there i also got our style css file which we progress very well then you can see right right where we are there this is where we are this is where we left out online 420 431 this is where we, we left so you can see that if Look at that. This is the process. This progress that we have done. So I'm going. I mean, I'm just going to style this sidebar so that it matches up to the solution. So now we are going to go inside our browser. Okay. I mean, our Visual Studio Code Editor of choice. Okay. Let me go inside this one. Then I'm going. I'm just going to code here. So I'm going to. I want to create some space here. Yeah. Then now. If drag this this section right at to the yeah write it right there so now you can also see that i've got this one so now let's put in some text html code in there okay so inside my inside the section code section text container this is where we are so now i'm we're going to give some a div code extra class name extra then another div code text underscore dash dash title then i'm going to have another sub div code text dash title dash icon then let's have an image which we should we, we are going to collect an extra icon image and let's have a second image called extra icon active with class name active then you can see now we go on to add an an h2 text with the text extra then let's create another data list with class name text underscore dashboardy then let's create some spacing inside i'm going to add another div code text dashboard item with the data table with the data terms and then the data details dd data details there then you can see i've added this one now i'm going just i'm just going to copy div text body item like you have done as you can see there is copied so inside it's just the same structure dt dd d data details in data terms so it's just like copying then let's add another text body item dt tennis then dd then data, data details as you can see now if you just like minimize it you can see that it's another div then let's create a, another div class code this one is a div class code, called features so for this div class features i'm just going to okay let me come and see if yeah you can see that we have created extra div extra now we're going to create div features for div features i'm going to say div subtitle div underscore title then let's have a div with div title icon again so we gonna have first image called features png then let's have a second image called features active so active remember is always on over okay now if i come in i add another x2 then let's have a data list outside they can see aside if i come back to my browser and I reload the page. You can see this is this is the one that we are adding right at the bottom there. The features section, the features. So I come back inside my browser, add another div dash body. Then let's add div dash body item. Let's have inside the div and then inside data terms and data details data details again so if i come back and check a look you can see this this text that is appearing right there at the bottom of the screen 
okay now let's come back inside our browser let's say the div text body posture then let's save an image inside the body posture let's have a div body item for the div i'm just going to have body i'm going to sub div then data terms data details dd then let's have a section okay data details is a selection the text that it goes inside the you've seen the text that i've pasted so now i'm just going to add another dd last things i put in other div outside with class name text body posture so now i can minimize this one okay they can see it it's over there you can see that the similarity between this one and this one you see that they are similar in structure so if i come back into my browser they can see i've got this image we have the image this is the image that we have got this one okay so now i'm just going to say it's a live stream then let's have an image then outside a div div class name text body item then let's have a div sub div inside for the div i'm going to have a cache out div data details then i'm going to have a div dd for with this text giving you opportunity then let's say the other last dd just like as i've been doing right at the top there then let's have more details then let's have a text body poster then let's have an image with from the features auto cache out and out cache out feature if the image first to load then let's have a div outside closing div okay let me come and check the progress that i've made so far they can see the designs they are supposed to go there but we don't worry we will style them accordingly this won't be an issue now let's come back inside our browser and then let's add a text body item then let's start it under div sub div edit then dd give more give w to add then dd de more details then we're going to have a div text poster with an image then let's have out text and a loading okay so now this is what this was for the section Okay, section container has been successfully completed if i come inside my browser they can see i've got these images there so now what we're going to do we're going to come back into our They can see I now have got this section and this section. So I'm not just going to create another new section that like that we're doing. Like, let's give it a class name of games. Then let's have a div. Then games wrapper container. Then h2 tags. Then unlisted unli unli with class name games dash posture. Then let's have listings listings i'm going to give them a class of games item and lay away three listings three divs inside the listings with the, the first one is games underscore background one then the next one is games gradient then the last one is games overlay one so paragraph text with games title then this one is blackjack then the next listings just similar in structure to the last listings so you can see this one is similar then this one is the second one is similar but they only define that the this div we have replaced with two this one was one and i've also replaced the text from blackjack to super mega wheel if i come back inside the browser 
there you can see we have got the it there so if i want to continue i'll add another listings with this one is for overlay three and book for book of horrors then let's have a listings then this one is a european title title then let's add another listings with with its with divs then this one is overlay five with eight mortals they come here inside the browser they can see right there at this bottom of the screen these ones so now i'm just going to come back here and put in some games items then let's have deals background six gradient then let's have overlay six so now you can also see that i am going to be having this one is for overlay six then game title atomic then we're going to lastly have a footer section footer component so you can now see that if you come back to the browser you can now see that these are instant games okay There you can see the progress that we've made so far features yeah they we, we we got it this one more details there so now we're going to style the footer which is this section so i'm just going to come inside my my code auditor and let's minimize this section code games then let's say footer with class name of main content footer so i'm going to have a div with class name container then sub div with footer help then h2 text then only listings and all the listings then listings two listings then i'll add another five six listings then let me add some more level listings if i come back to the browser you can now see that i've got these ones help help instant creams so yeah they they it is this one instant games then help this is the content that we are having for the help section this one so i'm just i'm just going to add another one so that i've got also this the, these ones well let's come inside our browser let's get another d footer forms forms and statistics then let's have listings so i'm going to have quite a number of listings one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so these are the ten listings that i just pasted so if you come back into your browser so if you come back to the browser they can see that i've added forms and statistics these are the ones that you find here this is so now i'm going to add this one to the like right side so let, come let's come inside and let's add the div footer settings div with class name settings then let's have h2 text then h and other listings then listings we've got one the first listings with a solid fa chevron down then let's save listings all display listings then then we are also going to give a div for class results let's come they can see i've got results promotions and audio so if i come inside you can now see that i've added settings with this font awesome icon so now i'm just going to h2 takes then and all the listings then let's save div class promotions h2 promotion then let's save listings one open an account offer then let's have a div outside with class name audio then let's have h2 text audio then another listings so for these another listings you're going to see that i'm going to having one was racing then let's have paste four listings there these four listings that i've also pasted so if i come inside my browser you can now see that we 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 have got audio and this is the audio with these with these listings that you're facing so but if you look at the solution it doesn't look like 
it's well done that means i have some work to do to make sure that this one looks perfectly just like what we have so i'm, I'm not it's not time for us to go inside the css coding okay let me add another div with class info then let's have div info sponsors then image first image with then let's save another second image of our sponsor then the third image fourth image called can locate cap spell png then if you see i'm going i'm also going to add another fifth image for the under the sponsors 18 png then let's save a div outside outside the images so if i come back into the browser if i wow they can you see the list the sponsors are appearing there this is just this is what i have got here so now i'm just going to go inside the browse the code editor then let's have a div info text let's have div then info text left then paragraph text then let's add a div with class name logo poster then let's have image then this one is for the bed 365 logo png then our text fit logo load load let's see so if i come back inside the code you see the best 365 logo is appearing just like what is there we're trying to match up to this footer so now let me go inside my and then let's say paragraph text with the text this text so if i come inside now i'm just going to add paragraph text for all rights reserved then paragraph text then let's add some unloaded un listings with class name info text right then let's have listings casino live casino games and poker so these are listings that we give so if i come back in my, inside my browser if i check out okay i've added the listings right right, right at the bottom yeah there are some listings there so if I check onto our, uh, these are the listings that we're doing. These listings. So now I'm just going to go inside my browser. We are now going to add a div with class name info policy. Then let's add paragraph text. Info policy. This is the text that is going to go inside the text. With some span class with class name cookies there you can see now i'm just going to add another outside paragraph with the text and some span with class name privacy you can see some special some special spans there i've added with class name privacy so now you can be okay with what we have done there you can now see that I've added the footer. If I now check on the last footer that I've added there with paragraph checks. Okay, come inside code. There you can see now I've got the text as it is, but now the text needs to be styled correctly so that it matches up to our design. As you can see, the, this is what you are expected to do. So now is the time to go inside our coding CSS file. Okay, make sure that you have saved your changes. Okay, okay, we are going to start from line 438 from where we left. So now come come back inside your browser, inside our files, the style CSS, that is where we are going to make our styling for the web page. So now I'm going to start off by adding a main content active statistics. Then I'm going to set it to position absolute top 50, right 0. Then transform, translate along the y axis minus 50, opacity 0. Then transform opacity transition variable opacity transition. Then let's save just some mods and mods webkit for different browsers. Then transition all in mods and webkit for different browsers. So if I come back inside the browser, we can see I've styled there at the top. So now I'm just going back inside the browser. I'm going to out the main 36 and you're going to put a cursor pointer with 1,4 rams 
then let's add we height 1,4 m's then let's add means 36 on over plus means 36 main content active 36 and main content active 36 on over let's set opacity to 1 then let's have a main content right head case pointer then let's have main content right head and then paragraph takes then in main content font awesome i'm going to put a color of fifth text variable then font size 1 comma 3 so if i come inside the browser and i check they can see the web page they how beautiful we have turned this here they can see i also now have got this drop down there okay okay so now let's get inside our browser so for the i'm going now going to start the main body content i'm going to start main body content margin bottom zero three rams then main content championships i'm going to set extra overflow of auto then main content championships here i'm going to give it a background color of fourth background if i I also add the color then let's have a padding block 1,5 font size 1,4 font weight bold then let's start the main head and head championships head and championship body text align center align items to the center so if I, before I start the head text let's come and take a look at the progress that you've made there you can see the progress that you are making okay Now let's save grid column two over six. Then main content championships, paid in block two rams, line rams two rams, font size one comma three rams. Then let's save border bottom one pixel solid main body. Then let's save main body underscore text underscore. Then let's save grid column two over six border right with one pixel border right main body color. Then border right star solid. Then padding right two rams. Then color variable second text color case pointer. Okay, so if I come back inside the browser, let me check a look. Or oh, they can see how uh, we have done some wonderful coding there. Now let's come inside our browser and we are going to style nextly the main content body championships body underscore data. Then I'm going to main content championships body underscore dash name. Main, main content championships dash championship dash body dash insights let's give it a transition of variable transition color then let's just put some os mods in that kit for different web browsers then let's put on some championships dash body dash on over and the main content championships dash dash body dash data let's give main content championships under dash body dash text on over main content championships dash championships dash body dash name so main content championships dash body dash text on over as well let's put main content dash championship dash body dash insights so i'm going to give a color of, of variable over color then let's let's add main content championships body dash name paragraph text text overflow eclipse overflow hidden white space no rep maximum with 10 10 rain rams then let's have main championships body dash num for that i'm going to say display flexi align item to center just like on the center case pointer height 100 font size 1.4 then border radius 0.2 rams then let's have wow a color of variable yellow effects then on transition i'm going to say the background color of 0.2 then let's have main content dash championship dash body dash num then let's have end of type padding right i'm going to set one rim border right width one pixel border right color variable then border right style solid then let's have main, main content dash championships dash body dash num on over then let's have a background color of third color then let's have main content directing to text display none okay i'm now going to set some before i go on to media queries let me come and check the progress that you've made there there you can see i've styled this the results table the results display i've just perfectly styled them so now i'm just going to go back inside the browser and let's save maximum width of 964 pixels then let's save main content text display block main content 
text Deutsch text body display flexi on this is on tablet view since we are setting a maximum width of 964 pixels then let's save main content text fixes text body padding and set gap and set then let's save another media query for this one i'm going to set a maximum width of 782 that's for tablet view main content text body i'm going to set flex rep rep then before now we're going on to the game section let's come and leave a look at how our designer looks like even on mobile view they you can see on mobile view using the media queries that we had don't worry about the background text they will delete it but you can now see that i've got this beautiful desktop view so now i'm just going to go inside our game section let's start games but border, border bottom one piece of solid then paid in bottom three range paid on color then let's see if style dash games dot container so now i'm going to give it a padding of right zero for the games container now come come below the games wrapper we're going to give it a border bottom and the border bottom border padding block of angoma five rams then now, now coming inside the uh, games wrapper i'm going to give it a padding of two rams one size one comma four in the color then now we come inside the on our games poster i'm going to give it a display in the gap of one ram then padding of three rams in the, with 100 percent now you come you come inside your then you can see now how beautiful it is but you can see that there are some images still missing there so we still have got some work to do inside our coding so now let's come inside our coding and let's save an overflow of auto then games item percent apps relative minimum with 10 rams with 15 percent then height 10 rams then height 10 rams a height of 10 rams now if i come back inside the browser inside our browser then you see we have increased the height there that we, that we have got a height there now let's come back let's come back to our and then let's put in some background color and background overlay then gradient, gradient percent absolute top zero left zero with 100 percent height 100 percent background repeat no repeat then background percent 50 percent then case pointer then before i go i want to come back and check a look at the progress that you have made there you can see the progress that we are making so now come back inside the browser css file then let's add some gradient background image linear gradient zero degrees variable these are variable rgb rgb then let's have game title let's put in absolute bottom zero with 100 percent text align center font size 1.2 line height 1.4 white space no rep then text overflow eclipse then color then let's save a games background then let's say background color size to cover then opacity of 0, 0.8 then we are going to just save some transition all in mores for different browsers so if i come then let's save web kit then let's save game over games background opacity to one if i come in and look at the progress that we've made they can see we've just put this text below so now come back inside your coding let's add some games on over game title color then let's have games overlay background size contain then let's have games background dot one so we're going to set an image there then let's have games overlay dot one then let's save games background dot two games overlay dot two games background dot three games overlay dot three games background dot four games overlay dot four then games background dot five ga games overlay dot five then games background dot six games overlay dot six just like in the, the so we are even to start we are, we are differentiating the image for the background as well as the overlay class name so you can see these two class names how they differ so if i come back with these images that i have that, that that i've imported using url inside this diagram so you can now come in they can see we have imported this image so you can now see that these images are now just like we wanted very perfectly perfectly okay 
very perfectly now let's come inside okay now look look at how we have done the display as well as the images now i'm just going to continue styling now i'm i'm not going to put in some some styling on the game section for the game section we're going to come inside our browser footer footer for the footer section we are going to style the footer Okay, to say main content dot content first child let's say display flexi just for content space around background padding and just for space around border then let's say footer h2 font size on my four color the margin bottom two range line height four rams if i come back inside the browser you can now see that we have just displayed it flexi and with some line height and everything just like close to what the solution requires this one that we have got here so now you have to come back inside your coding let's say go on to me maximum width of 782 media case main content footer container flex direction column on mobile view that's on mobile view then main content footer on tablet view as you know the maximum width of 782 pixels applies for mobile view let's say footer uh, display flex flex rep rep gap 3 and let's save margin bottom then let's save main content footer dot footer help and list forms listings for and then settings as well i'm going to say the font size and the color in the case of putting the margin bottom then let's save a transition if i come inside the browser you can now see this the styling that we are doing here and then let's let's have main content footer help main content listings on over color text fifth color then info sponsors display flexi gap to range maximum width of 800 pixels so if i come inside you can now see that this is how it now changed this one these icons which are displaying sponsors for today for our web page now let's come inside now we are going to add flex rep rep align item center padding to rem then let's have info text display flex padding left maximum width of 800 pixels then before i go further i want to make sure that you can also that this text has been changed the styling has been performed on this text so now i'm just going to go on to our coding let's put in with 68 percent padding right 7 percent maximum with 800 then let's start the info text right with 38 percent padding block one ring display flexi flexi direction column they can see on the text so let's put on some styling info text left info text right police margin bottom two rams info text left face of child let's say font size one comma three painting font with bold painting top one ram color then info text logo paragraph font size one comma two painting right one comma one ram and bot painting bottom one comma five rams so info text right then let's say font size one comma four then case then info info text listings one then let's save color fifty text then let's save info policy color and font size of 1.4 rams padding two rams bottom before i go on to the cookies class name i was i just want to check they can see how we have done it we have split separated this text so that it looks okay as you can see now let's style the cookies just it is found inside here let's say we go to our cookies now for the cookies i'm going to say color secondary text color font weight board case pointer color on offer variable case pointer then let's style the color for the on offer privacy so after styling this privacy info privacy on offer we can now come and check a look at how the you can now see this offer effect is happening whenever i offer through the cookies in the info privacy class names they can see so this is how we have done our solution they can see i have completed the greater part of it now i'm just left with this sidebar but for, so there's
this was it for our part our, 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 our video then make sure that you watch out you don't miss the next video where we shall be completing the side bar that is left here so this if you like my content make sure that you subscribe and like my content thank you very much for watching